What's up guys, Kobe Shots here. Hope you're all doing great. Today I've got a little bit of tutorial for you guys. We're going to look at how to sharpen your images for Instagram. The right way to do it and the most basic and easiest way that doesn't require a lot of steps. So over here, you see displayed a, a lot of pictures that I have in my portfolio from the past. So I'm going to quickly select one of them. I'm going to select this one and go straight into Photoshop. Once you have Photoshop opened, if you need to do any retouching whatsoever to your image, you get it done. My image over here is already retouched. That's why you saw that in my portfolio. So what I'm going to do is the first thing that you need to always do is to duplicate your layer. Make sure that the image is duplicated. If you have to retouch your image, you're definitely going to have a lot of layers in there. You make sure you merge your image into one all the layers into one so that you have just one layer to work with on the sharpening all right so what i'm going to do over here once i have my image duplicated is that i'm going to go over here to the menu bar and i'll drop all the way down to the bottom to other and other is going to also give me one more drop down menu and i'm going to select high pass oh what happened over here you see our image just turned into a ghost <laughs> Truly, there's nothing wrong with that. What is going to fix this is going to come really soon. But first of all, let's look at high pass window that's open over here. I always keep my radius at you. You can keep it either from one to three, but I always maintain my over there at two because that's where I think it always feels right to me. So once I have it here at two, I'm going to click OK and comes to the part where we're going to fix this ghost effect. It's all about the blending mode that's not set to the right, you know, um, the right option. So we're quickly going to drop it down and move in here to vivid light. And yeah, of course, just as we had our image from the start, it's reverted back to normal. But wait, there's one more thing that we are realizing over here. Are you seeing that? Of course, you are. You're seeing some fringes across the edges of my subject in the image. And this actually happens to almost every edge that is pronounced. So across the door of the car, along the edges of the costume that the model is wearing, and even along the edges of the model herself, you're going to notice these fringes. And trust me, there's nothing wrong with that. After all, you're going to post all our images that we you know export out of photoshop after they are sharpened on instagram and people view images on instagram basically on their phones so it's either you are barely going to notice these fringes or you're not going to notice them at all frankly speaking unless you over sharpen your image you're going to notice these fringes but basically you are barely going to notice them at all so there's nothing wrong with it but if you feel that the sharpening has been done too much you can go over here to opacity and reduce it to where you deem fit all right but i feel that 100 percent is fine for me because i always have my images very sharp if you should check my page on instagram at copy shots you're gonna realize that all my images have their subjects well sharpened and for the best viewing all right so guys that's what i have for you today as simple as it is this is the most basic way and the most easiest way I've ever come across sharpening my images for Instagram and basically for the web. So hit the thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe to this channel if you haven't and turn on the post notification button. That's very important so that you will be notified of all future videos that I'll be posting over here on my YouTube channel. Until then, have a great day. See ya.